you all can see it. You can see it. Come on, paper. There we go. <laughs> We're going to wait a few minutes to get to let people get in here. Because it is a little early. It's actually 7.59. Nope, can you log now? We'll just uh, take a moment. Today we're talking about traveling debt-free, why we do it, and why we think it's important. So I'm just going to start with the monologue right here, and then we'll get into if anybody has any questions or comments. Okay. All right, so we're going to cover two reasons we want to do debt-free, and a story about how debt can let you down and how you can travel debt-free. So reason number one is we're Christians and the Bible says it's not the best. The one that people hear all the time is Proverbs 22, 7 that says the rich rule over the poor and the borrower is slave to the lender. So, you know, we don't want to be anyone's literal or metaphorical slave, so we do this this way. So reason number two, when you purchase something with debt, it doesn't always belong to you. Like if I go buy a dress with a credit card, that's mine until I have to pay off the credit card sometimes. But if I, for example, purchase a home traditionally, what I'm getting is a mortgage. And a mortgage is money you have to pay back the bank that you bought with the house. So technically, until that house is paid off, you live in the bank's house. <laughs> At any time, they could call your debt and take your house from you, so we don't want that either. We would rather whatever we're riding around in, whatever we're sleeping in, be ours. Okay? So that's why we want to do the cargo trailer. The cargo tra trailers are built the same quality or better as RVs. They cost less, and we can design it the way we want it, and it will be ours. There's no payments involved because they cost less. I think with everything but a bathroom, they're like $5,000. Quick story about a cargo trailer. I saw one today. You did? It's, yeah, it's, it's Wells Cargo. Wells like, Cargo. <laughs> oh, very punny. <laughs> That's cute. Like but, that. um, tish. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So a little bit of a story time. My dad would tell us this every once in a while. When he was younger and he was traveling around, he would use a credit card instead of taking a lot of cash. Like he'd take a little bit, but not a lot. And then he would pay it off later, right? Well, on one of his trips, the credit system, the card system, everywhere he was, I think he was overseas, so everywhere in the... Uh, 
where was he traveling? It was Germany. It was when we were in Germany. So everywhere in Germany and everywhere in France and all that stuff, you could not use this card because the whole system crashed. So all he had, I believe, was cash to get home. And that was it. So I don't want to be stranded by a credit card because I rely on it and all this other stuff. I would rather just carry cash a smart way. Not a lot either. Like a lot of people are like, but I don't want to have hundreds of dollars. So don't use hundreds of dollars. Use your debit card, let your bank know where you're going. And, you know, carry a little bit of cash in your boot or something. I don't know. But don't be afraid to do it that way because a lot of times credit cards can decline for any reason and all this stuff. Cash is king. <laughs> and cash did in that day for my dad save the day. So. The good old Dave Ramsey line. What's that? Dead is dumb, cash is king. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, how to travel debt free. If you've been keeping track of us, then you've seen all of the places we've gone. And a majority of the places we've gone are free. You get in there free admission, there's no cost or anything. Beautiful natural spaces you can go to, some of these places you can camp at even. And so you need to utilize that, right? It doesn't sound, you know, real spectacular to utilize the free events and parks in your area, but it's a great way to get out and explore, especially if you just want to see new things and you're not, your priority isn't to be fancy. So this is especially good if you have kids, you just want to get them out of the house and create some great memories. One of my favorite memories that I come back to often was an overnight camping trip, or it might, it might have been two days, we took with my dad and one of his friends to the middle of nowhere. We were at this river, and it was just awesome. I mean, awesome. I, I remember it to this day as one of my favorite things. So you never know what's going to create a memory for someone. Okay, so number two to travel debt-free, be frugal. A budget each month or even each time you get paid helps you see where your money's going and helps you control it. Coupons, discount racks, and some sales can help you keep help keep you under your budget instead of and then you can set aside that money for travel. So I mentioned this one before in a different video, but save. Alright. You can sit down and reasonably calculate how much it's gonna cost you to go somewhere in gas, in food, you just have to set yourself a travel budget and then save towards that goal. What's great about this is you can decide how much you spend. So it can be a big one or it can be a little one, but whatever it is, it's yours and you decide what happens. I've met a couple before and I've also mentioned this before, who save two months worth of bills and then, and then however much they need to go on their trip. And then this way, when they're on their trip, they don't have to worry about their bills getting paid. So what they do is they then apply that two months worth of money to those bills, and then they leave for two months and go wherever it is they want to go. And this way, it's worry-free for them. Now, they may only travel once a year or once every two years, but when they do, they don't have to worry about anything. And that's the way they like to do it. So basically, what's your goal, what do you want to do, and how are you going to accomplish it is the thing. So, I think the biggest, the best one, what we do, we, we use all of these. <laughs> so we utilize free events and parks in our area, we're frugal and we save. It's the only way to really do it as far as, far as I'm concerned. If you can get a job that travels you around, that's another great way to do it. If you can and somehow like we're we're Christians, so we're very we're trying to be very traditional in that, and so my husband works outside of the home and I work on the inside of the home. So that being said, anything I create is extra. So if I can create extra and we can we'll put that towards travel or we'll we'll put that towards like uh, I'm trying to get a better webcam or something like that. We'll put it towards that instead of putting it towards, you know, other things. 
I have lots of plans, lots of things I'd like to do, lots of things we would like to do truthfully. We want to go see so much stuff. And the whole thing is that when you have big dreams, sometimes you just got to plan really well and they'll come true. It's all up to you guys. So that's all I have for tonight. I will see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.